welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley, if you are new. And if you are new, please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So I'm actually coming in kind of with what I'll consider part two of a series. So a few weeks ago, I dropped a video, which was my spring summer, uh, my spring summer handbag collection capsule collection. Um, so just essentially showing the summer, the the bags that it is that I'll be kind of rotating during the spring and the summer. So I definitely wanted to come and kind of follow that up with a part two, and this one is actually going to be on my spring summer sandals slash slides, if you will. So I'm somebody who absolutely, I'm not really a heels girl. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a sneakers girl. I love shoes. I'm a shoe person overall. So I love a good heel. It's just not something that I practically wear on often that is. So because I live in the South, Atlanta, Georgia, um, it's, it's hot most of the time or it's warm most of the time. So I am somebody who absolutely loves sandals, slides um, specifically. So I definitely have a couple of sandals slash slides that I want to share with you guys that I'll be kind of rotating throughout the spring and the summer as a part of my, I will consider a capsule collection, if you will. And I also will link down below the handbag um, video just in case you guys haven't watched. But without further ado, let's get into this, I think it's six pair of sandals, six, yeah, six pairs of sandals that is, that I'll kind of be rotating throughout the spring summer season. So let's go ahead and get into it. And the first pair of sandals that I want to start with is probably my all-time favorite style of sandal. But specifically, this one is probably actually out of this capsule collection that I'm going to share with you guys. This is the pair that I've had the longest. Specifically, I've had this pair since 2015. What is that? Damn, y'all, it's been eight years. And baby, when I tell you... I still love them and that is none other than and I know these look a little janky on the inside but again you guys these shoes are eight years old so give me a little grace but these are none other than my Hermes or Ron sandals in the color gold which obviously they come across as a tan color but they are from an Hermes standpoint considered the color gold y'all when I tell you I know like I said on the inside they look a little beat up not to mention you'll see a little glue at the bottom. The reason why there's glue at the bottom is because when I initially got these sandals again eight years ago, back in 2015, they glued this bottom part, this little piece, they glued it on. They didn't sew it on. And I actually don't think they sew it on now, but they glued it on horribly. So I actually had to get these repaired and they charged me $75, but that's not why we're here. This isn't an Oran re uh, review necessarily, but I still love these sandals. They're super neutral. They look good on my skin color and they essentially go with everything. I initially bought these to kind of pair it with my Goyard St. Louis GM tote, the one that's in the classic tank of brown and black color. And it's like a perfect combination. So these are great, love them. I don't have anything bad to say about Oran sandals. Um, if you have them on your list, if you don't already own a pair, I highly recommend them. And I mean, for these to look like this, I know they probably, they're coming off a little bit worse on camera than they actually are in person. On the foot, which I'm going to show a couple, let me insert a clip now of me actually wearing the shoe. Insert, <laughs> editing Ashley. But on the foot, they definitely look a little bit better than they look. Like I said, the interior looks a little worn, but still a great shoe. At excellent investment. Highly recommended. Again, that is the Hermes Oran sandal in the color tan. We are talking about Orans. I definitely want to share the pair that I actually picked up last year. Y'all, these are the black ones, as you can see. They look, they're completely, as far as like the design on the exterior, they're exactly the same as my tan ones from eight years ago. But on the interior, it's completely different. Like there's a little bit of a pillow bedding in the, in the foot. But, um, but these are my black pair. This is how they look on the bottom. Not that anybody cares about the bottom. But these are my black pair. And you guys, when I tell you I never, I've always been a huge fan of Oran sandals. Like I told y'all, I've been having a pair for eight years. Never did I ever consider getting a black pair. I said, oh my God, they are so, they're so boring. Mind you, my favorite color is black, girl. I love black. I love all things. I don't want a black t-shirt right now. <laughs> I absolutely love black. 
However, I just wanted to get like more fun colors as it pertains to Orans. But when I tell you, I was so happy once I got these, they are so universal. I wear these so much. I just had these on this past Saturday and that was my first time wearing um, sandals for the summer. I mean, for the spring season. So I know the black seems boring. One thing, good thing about the tan, the black and the white Orans is they always have them. They're classics, they always have them in every size for the most part. You can kind of go on the website and get them anytime that you want. Unlike some of the limited edition, like seasonal colors, they're kind of hard. You gotta kind of stalk the site or kind of get lucky <laughs> to get one of those colors. But y'all love these. The white stitching definitely sets them off and they're so comfortable with this new edition of this little pillow, the pillow and the footbed. Highly recommend it. Absolutely love these. Now we are moving on from Hermes to Gucci. As it when it comes to Gucci, <laughs> I was somebody who definitely failed for these when they first came out. These are the, I wanna say they used to be called the Angelina platform sandals, but I think there's a different name for these now if I'm not mistaken. But these are the, the classic Gucci sandals, the platform sandals that you see everybody with. Listen, I got these when they first came out. I wanna say I got them from mattressfashions.com. And y'all, I probably bought these about yeah, so essentially I picked these up, I want to say it was either 2018 or 2019, probably 2019. Uh, absolutely love these. I think they're super classic, but like the girls say, they're definitely heavy. Um, that's one of the, that's kind of one of the common reviews or common opinions as it pertains to these slides. Um, they're definitely heavy. Um, for me, I'm 5'6", so I enjoy having just a smudge more height, even though I'm a little taller than some girls, but not the tallest girl, but I certainly enjoy having some height. I love them. As you can see, they're like, what, like four or five years old and they still look really good. Um, so yeah, these are always going to be a part for, um, these are always going to be a part of my summer, my spring summer sandal capsule. Um, however, like I said, they're definitely heavy. So keep that in mind if they're on your list or if you're considering getting them. They are not the lightest shoe, but they're cute as hell. <laughs> Keeping in the same category as Gucci would be another pair of sandals that I picked up or slides that I picked up last year. And that is none other than the interlocking G slides. I think that's what their, their name is. These go by a different name on different websites, but I want to say off of Gucci, which is where I purchased them. They are called the interlocking G Gucci slides, if I'm not mistaken, but that was as of last year. You know how these fashion houses like to change the game up, but I really love these. They're definitely hard. I will be honest with you guys. They are hard, but they're not necessarily uncomfortable. I love them. I've only, honestly, I've only, I just got these last year. I probably wore them maybe three times last year. So I definitely plan on getting a little bit more rotation out of them in 2023. But I love this color, super classic. It's kind of like a, um, a jade green, if you will, or maybe just a little bit darker. I think this is called Sea Moss, if I'm not mistaken, on the website. They have this in a ton of colors. I, and honestly, I haven't seen a ton of people with this sandal. So I definitely um, am surprised that more people don't purchase this sandal or don't have this sandal. The only other, uh, the only other person that I saw with this sandal was actually Delana from Brown Girl Lux. Um, I'll link her channel down below. She has them, I wanna say in like a cream white color. They look super cute, but they come in an array of colors, so that I do love, but I really love this color. And now I wanna say they have a pink, and y'all, I'm so tempted to get them, but I'm like, girl, pump your brakes. Keep, uh, get, get some more wear out of this one before you decide to add another one to your collection. But highly recommended, love these, super cute. And they have like a little bit of a little heel as you can see, <laughs> very small heel that is. But uh, I just love these. And like I said, I think they're very classic, very reminiscent of the Oran, if you will, but in the Gucci, <laughs> from the house of Gucci. And um, pretty comfy and they come in so many fun colors. So highly recommend. And the next pair of slides is going to be none other than my Balenciaga. I don't know the exact name of this slide. And the reason why I don't is because I've had them for a long time. I want to say at least it's way prior to the most recent outrage and controversy as it pertains to them. Um, so yeah, not even the same creative director, if I'm not mistaken. But 
The reason why I love this sandal so much is number one, they're white, which is classic. And my, I'm always gonna be in, um, as you, my toes are always gonna be white, as you can see in the clip. But um, in addition to that, my nails are always white. So I just think that's super classic, super clean, super chic for spring, summer. But honestly, I wear it white and white <laughs> um, nails and toes all year round. I just think it looks good. Um, however, so these are white, but not only are these white, these are not rubber, you guys. These are leather. You can't tell just by looking at them, but they are leather and you see how old they are and they have looked this good for that entire time. Like I probably have to wipe them off. There's a little bit of a smudge right there, but I can probably wipe that off easily with like a Clorox wipe or something like that. But you guys, these are super comfy. They're flat as hell. So I will say that, but they are leather. You can tell they're leather by that little crease right there. If you know you know <laughs> but um super good balenciaga leather if you know they are always going to give you amazing italian leather and that's exactly what these are delivering and not only that i got these i want to say off of this is how old they are i got these from barney's y'all and you know barney's has been uh closed or out of business for several years now so I got these from Barney's for an amazing price. I've only seen one other person with this sandal and I think she has them in black. And that's Freddie who also has a YouTube channel. So I'll link her channel down below who I absolutely adore. Um, also, I just love these super classic, super comfy. They have stood the test of time. And I got these on sale for probably 220 back in maybe 2017 or something like that love these if i can get them in black i probably would but like i said they're leather classic amazing quality so i had to mention these these are definitely going to be in rotation like they always do. and lastly <laughs> these sandals are not designer but i absolutely love them and i kill them and i wear them so often and i just got these last year so i would be remiss if i did not mention those and these are none other <laughs> than my i want to say these these are target slides but they are by a new day and i picked these up last year and i definitely got them on sale you know your girl loves a good sale but this is how they look they're like this tan neutral kind of flesh tone color but they have these really pretty um rhinestones on them i don't even feel right sharing these with y'all necessarily because i don't think target has these anymore you know they're not you know they don't restock the same stuff every year but y'all i kill this sandal when I say I kill this sandal, I kill it. And I got these on sale last year for like $10. Y'all, they're they look like real leather, but they're not. And these rhinestones, like this is just a good quality shoe. The only thing that I have, like as if for as it pertains to a complaint about this shoe is that they squeak when you walk. That's the only thing. Other than that, they are so damn cute. Not a single rhinestone has fallen off since I've had this shoe. And that's saying a whole lot. They also came in black and I really wish I would have got that one too, but it was just something about this new color that I was just dying for last year. I rode all the way to Austin, Georgia to pick this shoe up. That's how pressed I was last year. But. So that essentially concludes my spring summer sandal slide capsule collection. Those are the six sandal slides that I'm gonna be rotating throughout the spring summer. I definitely am always in the market for some new ones, but those I definitely will continue to have throughout uh, this life, <laughs> if you will. I love Oran, so I'm always in the market for like a new pair of Orans and or the Cy-Free sandals by Hermes as well, but those are super hard to come across, especially in like a 41, or especially like a 41, which is my size in Hermes and or 40. Yeah, but that's a whole nother video. But anyway, if you have any of these sandals, please comment down below. Let me know if you have any of these on your radar. Also, please comment down below and let me know. Um, if you made it to the end of the video, you are so greatly appreciated. I really, really love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys and dolls in the next video.